Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Connection point patterns in ePlan Pro Panel are the wired termination point of your devices. Having them defined comes with many benefits for the shop floor, like calculating the exact wire length, which can be then used to send data to wire manufacturing machines like the retail wire terminal or wire assistance softwares like smart wiring. In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial how to create connection point patterns. All right, in order to create a connection point pattern for a component, we first need a component. Uh, for this, I will use the download out of the data portal and find a component which doesn't consist yet of a connection point pattern. Uh, let's go to ePlan Cloud and press data portal and search for the component which doesn't have a connection point pattern. I have here, we found one. That's the ABB uh, circuit breaker, which we'll use for today's exercise. Um, under the data types, you see a couple of data types which are available, but there is no connection point pattern icon. Uh, if you are not sure if your component has or has not a connection point pattern, by just looking on the data types, you can press here this I button, and uh, then you will see the data types which are not available are gray. So in this case, the connection point pattern is grayed out and uh, that means it's not available. So the first step here will be to download this component to your local parts database. Once you have downloaded the component to your parts database, it's a second step to verify the current quality of your component. For this, we will go to master data and under management, find the components so here, I click to find. You will see this component is under general, general, ABB, and the part number. For me, uh, one of the most important topics is obviously the function template, that the function template uh, is the function template of the component which we have downloaded, in this case, circuit breaker, and the connection designation points are one and two, which is also important for us. Because when you create the connection point pattern, we need to create exactly those connection uh, designation points. Beside that, on the properties, uh, you can find, for instance, if you click on the next, you see there is no connection point pattern assigned. There are two types of connection point pattern which, which you can use in ePlan. One is a global connection point and one is a local one. A global connection point will be created connection point pattern in the parts management and the site here. A local connection point pattern will be if you create the connection point pattern in the macro. And this is the exercise which we will do today. Beside that, one thing uh, which we also see here is that this component is maybe in the wrong category, right? So you see it's general, general and then ABB, but there is a category or circuit breaker and that will be protection devices and let's fix it by finding the right category let's go here to field properties and then try to see where do we have general general and that's here on the product grouping and instead of general general we will go to protection devices, circuit breaker, press enter. Much better. We will apply this and press close. After fixing the uh, properties, we will go to the first step and that's inserting the macro in a macro project. So for this, we will switch into a macro project and create a new layout space. I will um, enter under the layout space the part name, and I will have here to enter the macro name 
of the part, how to find the macronym of the existing component, I will show you in a second. For now, we'll continue with OK. And you see a new layout space was opened. In this layout space, we will insert the component. And as you see, that's the macro of the component. In another video, I will explain how to create a macro from the scratch, but this video is about the connection point pattern. And if you click on this um, device here, you will see in this field the macro. I'm going to just take this, press the copy, sort of control C, and then in the layout space of this uh, macro, going to properties and enter the macro name. In future, when I generate this macro, it's already assigned to the correct component. So, now that we have the um, macro inserted and the layout space created, it's time to create the connection definition point. For this, we will click on insert and under connection point, there is the button define. We'll press this and first you see it's select area to define connection point direction. So this area defines where the wire will leave the device. In our case, the connection definition point is located on this side and uh, we leave the device in this direction. So we can either select this surface or this surface for the start. I'm just going to select this and now it's time to uh, define the position of the, device, of the wire termination point. Uh, I'll recommend you, if you don't know where it exactly is, uh, or if you, if you can't grab the point which you wish to, but you have edges around it, you can hold control and select those two, uh, two opposite points, right? So in this case, control, click here and click here. This opens the, uh, this window here and here we can for instance enter connection uh, designation point 2 and press OK. Let's take a look of the result for now. Under view connection point designation we see the placement is nice on the edge um, and the connection point direction it's going in the right direction. So but if we take a look from the top we see that the position of the wire termination point is here inside. So now you have two possibilities. Either you are moving this um, point to this position, or you can add an extra length to this connection point. So both are possible. I usually prefer to have this connection point placed here, but if you already know this offset here, you could easily just go into this device under connection point pattern, you can add here an additional length. So whatever you prefer or whatever is easier for you. <clears throat> In the same, we can create here um, the, the second connection point. I will just rotate this to see this better. And now insert again connection point defined. The selection is obviously in this case this direction and now we can hold the control and select one point and another corner. And this is in this case connection point one. So as you see the X position is the same, the Y position differs and the Z position in this case also differs. The routing di direction is automatic. I would recommend you here since this is going up to say move up and here the routing direction uh, move down the vector is obviously opposite directions what i will also recommend you to do is to add here uh, the connection category which is screw clamp connection single and screw clamp connection single let's take a look now this looks already pretty good as I say, I will need to move this uh, wire termination point 
to this height um, and in this the same um, either by measuring the distance or by adding an additional length in my case as i said i prefer to measure it and to move it to the correct spot which i will do right now and for this we will uh, go to the viewpoint top select measure and measure the distance between the position where it's currently and where we would like to be, for instance, here and here. Um, if you are not experienced with the measuring yet, I will always recommend you, right, either to um, rotate the angle when you measure or then look always at the uh, at this coordinate axis here, right, to see what the measurement is, right? So in our case, you see the measurement is in the green arrow. So that's the direction where I was measuring in. And that means the green arrow is the Y axis. So it's around eight millimeters. And probably in this direction, it will be the same. So let's just check this together. If we click from here here it's also around eight millimeters in this case since it's going from top down it's going in the opposite of the green arrow so it's minus eight millimeters okay so knowing this we can click again in the device and now moving the a uh, y position by eight millimeters and by minus eight millimeters right so 175 plus eight is 975 and here in this case it will be 79 and if we apply this we will see the um, wire termination point move to the spot which we want it so perfect position and yeah this will be I would recommend you to create connection point uh, patterns. Now, if we are happy with the macro, we will need to generate it and then place the component in, um, in our enclosure. So how to generate the macro? So as I said before, it's very important to have this macro assigned. And now you can just select it and under master data, under macros, generate automatically the software will ask you if you would like to overwrite existing macros which we definitely want we don't want to apply to the entire project just press ok the macro was created right and now in another project for instance in the ESS sample project if you click here in this enclosure if you go show only mounting panels, I would like to place this um, component. First, we will just make sure that the master data is um, the current one. So we will press here, management parts update and complete. So if I now insert this device, the device will contain the connection point pattern. So this was a tutorial on how to create connection point patterns in ePlan Pro Panel. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. Did you already knew about how to create connection point patterns? Or would you find other tutorials more useful? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you find this video beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.